What's good people, it's Ocean here. Welcome back to my channel, welcome to the video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make samples like Frank Dutes, The Secrets. If you didn't see one of my last videos, I actually got my hands on some Frank Dutes samples. I'm gonna link the video in the description, by the way, so if you wanna check it out, go click that link in the description. And basically, I made some fire beats using Frank Dutes samples. If you guys don't know, Frank Dutes is a music producer that's worked a lot with Post Malone, and his style of creating samples is very unique. It sounds sick. It sounds like very, very retro, very vintage lots of cool effects. And yeah, I'm gonna be breaking that down and showing you how he makes his sample. Before I get into it though, hit that subscribe button right now and join the family and hit that bell notification so every single time I post, you get a notification and you won't miss another one. With that being said, let's get into it. All right, so first things first, with Frank Dutes beats, you kind of need to make it sound very retro and very vintage -y. And the way to do that, you got to get this free plugin and it's called Isotope Vinyl. I'll see if I can leave a link in the description to it. It's free and it's 100% worth it. So what I'm going to do is quickly play a melody and then I'm going to put Isotope Vinyl effect on it. And you're going to hear how it sounds more retro, more vinyl -y. So let me just find a sound in Omnisphere. I think I'm going to go for a guitar, the nylon guitar. I think I got something down, so I'm just going to quickly go ahead and play that. Let me just up this to about 140. I got something down, but I played in a few notes wrong. So what I'm going to do is just quickly fix it up in here. And then I'm going to control this, move it to the side, Command J to join them. And then I'm just going to edit some stuff here too. Now that I've got the guitar melody done, I'm gonna go in there and add in some effects. First thing I'm gonna do is add in isotope. So I'm gonna pull up this warp depth, let's pull up the wear, let's pull up some dust, let's make this 1970. So now it's got that cool vinyl effect. I'm gonna EQ it as well, take out some of this low end. And to make this sound a bit more real, I'm gonna send it to a bus and add in some reverb. I'm gonna open up Space Designer, leave it as default, and just drag this bus up. So it's now got some reverb on it. So what I'm gonna do now is duplicate that, duplicate the exact same pattern. I'm gonna change, I'm gonna turn off the EQ, the isotope, everything, and I'm gonna change this to addictive keys so I can have a piano sound. So I've turned back on Isotone, turned back on the channel EQ, and I think I'm gonna open up M Rhythmizer, which basically is the growth speed for Logic Pro X. Well, not for Logic Pro X, because it's not made by Apple, it's made by Imelda Production, but M Rhythmizer has half time, which as is kind of like the same way as Growth Speed would in FL Studio. So I'm gonna open it up. So I'm gonna put this at 50%. And I'm gonna speed it up. And I think also what I'm gonna do is go to Sugar Bites and add in effect tricks and add a bunch of effects on top of this as well. With 
with all these effects on it, what I'm doing is just giving it a different kind of feeling. Now the sound sounds a lot more broken, a lot more disjointed. It's all together. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to duplicate the first sound again and I'm going to drag that down. But I'm going to turn these into chords. So I'm just going to quickly drag these notes. Got my chords down, I've got the effects on it, but there's one more thing I want to add in because I don't want it to just play the chords like that. So what I'm going to do is go to MIDI effects and choose Arpeggiator. And let's switch it to about 1-4. So now that I've finished the foundation, I've got the three main sounds, I've got two strings, I've got chords down. I want to add in just one more thing to go on top of this nicely, just to put that put that, that cherry on top. So what I'm going to do is open up Omnisphere and I'm just going to find another sound. So I've got this, this keyboard sound down, so let me just find something. So I've got something, let me just quickly go ahead and record it. So some of it was played a bit off timing. So I'm going to control everything, command A, and then Q to quantize it. And then I want to up the velocities here. Actually, I'm going to control everything, Command A, turn down the velocities because it sounds a bit too harsh. And then of course, I'm going to add in some isotope vinyl effect. Let's turn up the warp again, the dust, the wear, and then I'm going to make this about, nine, let's make it 1970 again. And then some more EQ, let's take out the low end. Some of the high end as well. Something is off here. And then also what I'm going to do with that last part, I'm going to send it to the bus and add in some reverbs. Let's turn this up. So this is what we've got now. And that's how you basically make samples like Frank Dukes. I guess one of the keys here is you kind of have to make the sample sound quite old and kind of, as I said, very vintage, very retro -y, kind of like, the way how I think of it in my head is kind of ripped up, kind of, it's a bit old, it's a bit, you know, like when you see a really antique book and the edges are all torn up and kind of like that. That's how I think of the samples, that's how I'm picturing it in my head. You want to do that with the sample, you want to make it sound super vintage, you super old. Use some pianos, use some guitars. And yeah, that's basically it. I hope this helps you guys make samples like Frank Dukes. His samples are fire as I said before and yeah that's about it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think and if you enjoyed it hit that thumbs up button because it really helps this video and also shout out this person right here thank you for commenting in my last video I appreciate it I appreciate all you guys watching thank you for your support and yeah that's about it for this video I'll see you guys in the future